In this video, I will show you how to fix ground pollution in Cities Skylines 2. So let's jump straight into it. Now, according to the Cities Skylines 2 wiki, ground pollution comes primarily from industrial zoning in City Skylines 2. So it's actually highly recommended that you keep the industrial and residential zones of your city separate. However, it also has other sources. Things like polluting power plants, particularly those using fossil fuels, garbage management service buildings such as landfills, uncollected garbage buildup, and sewage. Sourcing electricity from non-polluting power plants such as wind turbines, solar power plants, hydroelectric power plants and geothermal power plants will actually reduce ground pollution. However, they do tend to produce less power compared to fossil fuels. Other than that, it is recommended that you actually keep your garbage services up and running and you use things like incineration plants and recycling centres to process garbage. A quick tip at this point as well is that an industrial waste processing site will reduce your overall ground pollution by 15%. However, in turn, it can be expensive to buy and build. So that's a few tips on how to fix ground pollution in City Skylines 2. I hope this quick tutorial did help you out today. And if it did help you out, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a minute. Thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and I will see you in the next video.